The weather on the wind farm in Nome was too extreme to climb the turbines. With conditions rapidly getting worse, Brent and the wind crew are racing to beat the snow. After I shut down work on the mountain, we packed up the gear and we headed back down to town. And that's when we get hit by another blizzard. And then before I knew it, we were totally lost. When the wind is at your back, the tracks kick up snow and it makes it harder to see. It's a little unsettling. Snowcat gets lost. That was crazy. I thought those things could go anywhere, but if you can't see where you're going, there's no sense in even going. We got lost the second we got up there. So I had to get out with a flashlight in one hand and a radio in the other and walk back to the road guiding the track vehicle. When you're walking next to a track vehicle on the icy road where it's compact, what you have to worry about is the wind and slipping on the rocks. It's sort of scary. You worry about slipping and falling under the tracks. Yeah, you don't want to slide down in here. I was born here, 22. I'm sort of a loner. I like sitting on top of a tower by myself. I get to spend a lot of time alone, and I get this feeling of satisfaction once I've got a couple new towers running. Yeah, we, we can't see anything up here. The guys are outside right now trying to uh, get at least an idea if we're even on the road. No, I can't see the road anywhere. We do have a GPS, but if we get stuck and run out of fuel, let's face it. We're in a snow cat. Who else can rescue us? We're on the road. That's a good thing. Are you sure you're on the road? Yeah, we're good to go. Brent and the Banner Ridge crew will head down the hill and back to home base, where they'll wait for the weather to clear. I've been fortunate enough to travel the whole country, and I've been in a lot of windy places. When you're in extreme weather like this, it does put things in perspective. It lets me know how powerless I am, we are, against Mother Nature. 